Hi, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about August 22nd and 23rd um, League of Legends LPL slate, basically. It's a two-game slate over two days. Um, we have EDG versus TES tonight, um, and then LNG versus JDG uh, 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 tomorrow night. Um, we're about um in the let's say it's kind of hard to say semifinals because the format's a little different in the LPL where you see here on the screen that you know between the ED, the winner of the EDG TES matchup will advance and then the winner of the LNG JDG matchup will advance to the this game 10 they call it and then the losers will actually get another chance by playing against each other and whoever wins that will play against the loser of the winner uh, um, of the loser of the game 10. So it's a little confusing, but I think um, so like, for instance, like if EDG or LNG, who are both underdogs in these respective matchups, if they lose, they're not done, right? Like they're not done completely. They have another shot to make it back to the finals uh, in the tournament. So yeah, I mean, for what it's worth, so all these four teams will get more than one chance, basically. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see, you know, who at the end is going to win the championship. Um, so you see here, it's very interesting. Obviously, winning the summer finals is very important, but it's also important to finish in top four of the championship points in the LPL because that means they get to go to the Worlds Tournament which I'm going to be physically going to. So hopefully I see you see some of you guys there. Um, but yeah, it's exciting that it was six of the teams are still alive. Um, you see top esports, RNG, who's been eliminated in the summer playoffs for, by the EDG. Um, and then JDG, V5, who just lost to LNG uh, this morning. And then LNG and EDG, who are both still alive in the summer, summer split finals uh, playoffs. So these six six teams, I think four of these uh, six teams are technically going to be able to go to the Worlds. Um, I do want to see one thing real quick. I was going to see how the regional finals bracket is set up. Yeah, so you see four teams are going to be top four teams in championship points minus teams already qualified. Uh, okay. So there are four teams. Victory five. They just lost. So they have 90. If EDG wins somehow. Yeah. So it, you just never know yet. You just, we just don't have the, the you know, defined teams yet, uh, identified teams yet. So. So we'll have to see. But anyway, so let's just dive into the two game slate tonight, though. Uh, between the EDG TES and LNG and JDG. Uh, between EDG and TES, we actually have a confirmed lineup because it's the game's going to happen tonight. It's going to be a treat. I'm so excited for it. Um, JJ is starting again at jungle. He looked much, much better. Um, I just, people were like, oh, JJ is back. But I just thought that he just played a little better than he used to. Um, I thought... Um, RNG's way was actually very underwhelming in that matchup. Um, I do think JJ played well and their team looked better. And I think it was a byproduct of Junja actually having started and having uh, improved this team with you know the, his uh, plays and everything. I do think, I mean, JJ at his peak is probably better than Junja and JJ has experience from the World's Championship last year. So I get it. They're trying to like bring him back as, you know, I think they're just trying to bring him back as much as they can um, without sacrificing their team record. I mean, they really have to win this game, in my opinion, um, to get a good seed in the uh, qualifiers and everything as well. I mean, the EDG could win it all, but, you know, they're one of the last few teams here you see. They're the last team that that are in the regional qualifier, so I think they're gonna get the last seed in the uh, <clears throat> um in the regional uh, qualifiers. I think tournament. Let's see, it's Weibo at thirty. Yeah, so EDG will be in the regional qualifiers for sure, but um, 
I mean, I'm sure they can. I think they're more than capable of winning it all. So, um, EDG has been playing much better, especially through the bottom lane. Viper has been playing one of the as one of the best AD carries in the world right now, and Mako supporting him. Um, I think that's the best bottom duo. Um, other than maybe Ruler and Lehens. Lehens has been a little bit underwhelming and more inconsistent than Mako. Uh, in the world, I think Viper and Mako have been really, really good. Um, and then Scout has been playing a little bit better. His form has come up. And then Flandre has been really solid in the top lane. I think he his laning phase has been kind of suspect, um, but I think he's fine against Wayward especially. Um, but top esports, yeah, I mean, they are have been the best team in the LPL summer split. Um, Jackie Love has been playing out of his mind as well. Um, Knight has been playing awesome. And Tian was the MVP of the summer split regular season. So that tells you like how awesome of a team this has been the whole split. I do think top esports um should be favored to win this. Um I know like uh two days ago when EDG played, I was like too scared to pick EDG, even though I gave you so many reasons to pick EDG to upset RNG. I know I was kind of, I guess I, you know, was too shy and scared away from making that upset pick for EDG. And I think I said RNG went through, wins three to two in a very close one. And then we looked at all the stats and EDG is actually, uh, he, they had a, they had better stats and metrics than RNG did. And I just didn't stick by them. Probably should have. So I'm going to do the exact same thing and uh, see what, see what the stats tell us real quick. So EDG, Top esports, I think top esports has been probably the most consistent team um, in the LPL regular season this uh, this summer. Um, so that tells you a lot in the LPL. That's really hard to maintain. Um, EDG has been up and down, uh, unlike TES where they were very down, and now they're coming back up a lot, back to the form, almost back to the form where they were in, in you know, for the last Worlds tournament where they won the whole thing. So that's kind of scary, but let's look at the metrics real quick. EDG top esports, uh, 0 0.93, 0 0.83. So they tend to play both. Both play tend to play a little faster on the faster side. GSPD EDG has been wow, lights out, eleven and two, and they at thirteen point four percent advantage. And then lane about the same, jungle about the same. So I do think it's going to be a close matchup. I think it all comes down to um, the jungle position, I think, um, again. Um, I do think Jackie Love and Viper have both been really, really good. Um, and I think Scout is solid, but I have to give an advantage tonight. And then Tian, like I said, has been playing like an MVP, but um, JJ's form has been coming up. I, so I'd still give an advantage to Tian just based on the recent stats and form. And I say give an advantage to Flandre over Wayward. So I do think, you know, top and bottom EDG could have some winning paths there. Um, top esports definitely has an advantage probably in the jungle position and then in the mid lane. But Tian is not one of those like carrying jungle carry, uh, ch uh, players where like Kanavi for JDG has been. Tian has sets up his teammates more. Um, uh, he's more of a, like a utility jungler, but he does a really, really good job putting map pressure on throughout the lanes. He knows how to counter jungle. Um, he's been really, really good at that, and I was very impressed with him the last couple months with that uh, uh, metric. I think he has like a very high jungle control percentage um, compared to other teams. Um, so yeah, it's been. I think I think top esports should win this. I think in a three to two or three to one. Uh, series. Um, I think EDG's jungle struggles and then maybe in the mid, I think that's probably going to be the reason why they lose because really they have to put in a lot of resources for Viper to thrive and succeed um, and carry his team to win. And in order for him to get there, JJ and Scout actually have, have to kind of um, neutralize Tian and Knight. And I don't know if they can do that for all five games, right? It's a best of five series again um, to rem as a reminder. Um, but I do think EDG, EDG is a live dog um, for what it's worth. I think EDG has been playing like one of the best teams in the LPL. 
just like top esports. So I, I that's why I think it's a fantastic matchup. I think EDG would beat JDG or LNG if they were playing against the other, like you know, the other two teams remaining in the <clears throat> LPL tournament. Tournament. I think these are definitely the top two teams right now, TES and EDG. Um, whereas LNG and JDG have been very inconsistent uh, over the course of the season. So, but for what it's worth, but they're playing against each other, right? So I have to pick a winner. And like I said, I think top esports should be favored to win, but I wouldn't count out, uh, I wouldn't rule out EDG's chances as well because they have several winning paths to, to win the series as well. But top esports has more and has stronger paths to do that. All right. LNG versus JDG. Um, yeah, I mean, I think JDG is going to smash LNG. I know LNG has been very hot, um, but one thing to note is that Victory 5 has been up and down and more down like in the last couple couple weeks, couple months rather. Uh, they've been so inconsistent and their top lane, Rich, was so, so bad this split, uh, this uh, season, especially uh, in the laning phase. Um and I just feel like JDG does not really have any weakness weakness like that. Um, I think LNG kind of abused that top lane difference um, over V5. But JDG's, I mean, 369 has been playing really, really well. And I want to show you the roster. I don't. We don't have confirmed starters yet um, because that game is not happening until tomorrow night. Um, but we can just see the rosters this way. You see JDG. Yeah, 369, Kanavi, Yagao, Hope, and Missing. Um, that should be the confirmed starters, actually. They're not going to have any substitution risk. Um, but like I said, 369 has been playing really well. Um, I think he's going to do well against Ale, um, Ala <laughs> for LNG. Um, I think that's going to be a wash. And then Kanavi is probably the best jungler in the LPL um, other than Tian, who's been really good. Kanavi is more of an aggressive, um, caring jungler. And he, um, I think he will do much better than Tarzan. Tarzan has been really good himself as well for LNG, but I think Kanavi should have an advantage there slightly. And then definitely Yagao over Doimbi. I think Doimbi, you know, he's more of an utility. I think he's been playing well. I mean, on this hot streak, you call it, um, in the tournament. But I, I'm still not impressed with him. Like he was getting um abused by rookie at times in the last series at, in the in their losses. Um, so I do think Yagao can definitely, you know, be a threat um for JDG. And then Hope and Missing are definitely better than Light and uh, Iwandi or Lamau. So I really think um, JDG should win that matchup. I don't think I'm going to have that much exposure to LNG. I guess LNG is going to burn me again, maybe. Um, I did have some LNG exposure uh, today, um, so I did win some money there. But um, amongst these four teams on this two-game slate, I'm probably going to have the least exposure to LNG, unfortunately. Uh, not unfortunately, but that's just how it's going to be because I do believe that LNG is the weak, weakest team among the four teams here, right here. JDG is definitely a very skirmish heavy team. Um, I, so I do think this is going to be a very high octane, high bloody uh, kill upside matchup. So I would definitely try to get a, maybe a long stack from this matchup compared to EDG, the TES where EDG likes to play, tend to be a little bit slower on the slower side. Um, but you know, either way on a two game slate, you, you know, you got to take your chances. You can go crazy. Um, LNG definitely has a winning path. I think that winning path is probably through maybe the top lane. If Allah somehow carries a game, but I don't think he does that more than one game. And then in the bottom lane, hope and missing have been good, but they've been suspect at times, but I do think they're overall better than light and, uh, Lamau. Lamau has been underwhelming, uh, and that's why he's been going in and out uh, along with Iwandi for LNG. So I think JDGs has too many, too many winning paths and advantages there in that matchup. I think JDG should win three to one. That's probably my gonna be my prediction. I think Ala or Doinbi could win a game uh, in the series, but I think JDG overall is a better team fighting team and better jungler. 
Um, so I'll have to go into JDG um, to advance to the next round. So yeah, JDG and then maybe EDG or TES. Um, but TES should win probably um, in a very close one. Um, but I'm a huge believer in EDG to uh, this uh, this tournament. Um, I picked them to win it all, and I I do think they're gonna make it to the worlds, back to the worlds, and make us make some noise. Uh, so I think they're definitely a live dog. But Top Esports has been the best team in the summer split. That's all I got for you guys today. If you guys have any questions, let me know. You can reach out to me at DFS Chan on Twitter or on YouTube. Um, otherwise, if you like the video, please, please, please hit the like button below or subscribe to our channel at True DFS, who we'll sponsor this video. Um, yeah, good luck out there, and you know, hope to see you guys early in the morning and <laughs> see you at the top of the leaderboard. Have a good one. Bye bye.